10 Craziest Military Training Exercises The training of soldiers for battlefield conditions must include military training exercises. In order to prepare soldiers for real-world situations, these exercises simulate them and teach them the abilities they need. There are some training exercises, though, that go above and beyond the call of duty. In this video, we'll look at the top 10 craziest military training exercises from around the globe. These drills, which range from practicing underwater fighting to simulating nuclear assaults, push soldiers to their physical and mental limitations and get them ready for the worst tasks they might encounter in the field. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this crazy ride through some of the most challenging military training exercises. Starting with the first exercise is playing a game of hot potato with a real grenade. This military training is an intense practice involving discipline, precision, and courage that can be called upon in the midst of battle. When one of their training exercises involves playing hot potato with a live grenade, soldiers in the People's Liberation Army of China take those ideals to a whole new level. This exercise shows the Chinese military stationed in Hong Kong moving a live grenade from one soldier to another till the last one finally throws it in a hole. Then, before it explodes, the soldiers leap out of the way, shielding their heads. The next exercise is taking a shot to the chest. These exercises are part of a specific Russian confidence training school, and one of their training techniques includes shooting each other in the chest. The purpose of the drill is to prepare the soldiers for the moment when they might be shot. Some end up wounded while others only take strikes to the chest. Whatever the outcome, the soldier must be able to return fire fast and accurately. In order to demonstrate how stress affects one's ability to concentrate, the trainees push people away while firing at targets that are centimeters away from the participants acting as harmless bystanders. The trainee must have the ability to maintain control and complete his task in spite of these demanding conditions. Exercise 3. Jumping Through Rings of Fire In this crazy exercise, soldiers bravely jump between fire rings. This terrifying training is from China. In most practices, trainees are usually wearing their uniforms and holding the automatic gun. This exercise is mainly suggested by a commander. The dangerous task would give him the same feelings in blood surge you would experience in a real war. Exercise 4. Drown-proofing training Almost every aspect of Navy SEAL training is crazy, but some exercises are especially weird. Trainees experience cold water conditioning, often known as surf torture, while covered in mud. They are then drowned proof by having their arms and legs tied. They have to complete a forward and backward somersault underwater, bobbing up and down 20 times, float for 5 minutes, swim to the shallow end of the pool, spin around without touching the bottom, swim back to the deep end, and collect a face mask from the bottom of the pool. The crazy doesn't stop there. Either a BUD slash S instructor attacks a trainee in the water to represent a violent drowning sufferer. Moving on to exercise 5, breaking slabs of concrete with their heads. A lot of military organizations employ marching bands, singers, and entertainment groups to enlist troops. Nonetheless, the Chinese military is known to have warriors that can break bamboo poles on their backs and smash bricks on their heads. The People's Liberation Army of China would be virtually unbeatable if fighting were merely a matter of performance. Military leaders are now rethinking how much time troops spend on this type of training after admitting that such demonstrations have little actual importance. Exercise 6. Drinking Cobra Blood the days when a soldier could prove their worth with a few push-ups and an assault range are gone forever. As part of their training, U.S. Marines now consume cobra blood and remove chicken heads with their bare teeth. Marines are urged to participate in the local traditions of drinking the animal's blood after being instructed by Thai military instructors on how to kill deadly cobras. Many of the soldiers happily obey, and some snap their heads back as the snake's blood is forced into their lips. Other customs included eating the tail of a cobra and biting off the head of a bird. Furthermore, in 2014, 11-day cobra gold exercised almost 13,000 soldiers from Thailand, the US, Singapore, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, and Malaysia participated, where soldiers learn how to survive in the wild, evade capture, resist interrogation, and escape captivity. 
This exercise tests soldiers' mental and physical resilience under extreme stress. Moving on exercise 7. Testing balance by walking over fires. For this exercise, must have passed a series of exams on a challenging course to demonstrate their extraordinary toughness and qualify for entrance into the ministry's elite Red Beards. The test consists of a 10-kilometer rapid march, an extreme assault course, hand-to-hand -hand fighting, attacking a high-rise structure, and acrobatics. In order to make things even more difficult, their bosses add further challenges, such as trying to use fire and car tires to push new recruits off the backboard. Only the fittest succeed in earning a seat in the long-sought-sought Red Beards, which often require five to six tries. This training is essential for soldiers for their survival. Next is Exercise 8, jumping from skyscrapers and rappelling down the side. An anti-terror soldier bursting through the glass is the last thing terrorists would anticipate if they ever attempted to kidnap hostages in a Tel Aviv tower. But it is precisely what the Israel Defense Force anti-terror team has been doing, which involves leaping off the top of one of Tel Aviv's highest structures and rappelling down the side. In order to wait for the command to move, trainees must close their eyes, ignore everything else, and focus purely on the window. As trainees alternately jumped off the 49-story Israeli center's top, Israel's Channel 2 cameras caught the action. The workout is appropriately called baptism by height. Number 9. Crawling along a path with jagged corals and rocks. It comprises the last phase of Zuling's amphibious training program. It's not really appropriate to call it the path to heaven, though. These soldiers must crawl down a 50-meter path lined with sharp-edged rocks and coral. These training drills are extremely painful and produce a class of strange humans. It's a brutal combination of techniques, but they believe that it helps in war. And finally, number 10, riding horses through thick plumes of smoke. It is the culmination of Zuling's amphibious training program. It is incorrectly referred to be the path to paradise. These soldiers must crawl along a 50-meter-long path that is lined with coral and pebbles that have razor edges. These training drills are incredibly painful and produce a group of strangely human humans. Similar to how it affects people, this smoke has negative effects on horses as well, including impaired lung function, irritation of the eyes and respiratory tract, aggravated heaves, recurrent airway blockage. These exercises used in military training are not for the weak of the heart. These training sessions put soldiers through extreme physical and mental strain. These training sessions mirror real-world situations to better prepare soldiers for the difficulties they may encounter in battle. Soldiers need to be able to adapt to any situation. They must have the mental strength to maintain concentration under pressure and the physical stamina to perform their duties. Soldiers must be capable of handling anything that comes their way, whether it be jumping out of planes, swimming through challenges, or enduring extreme temperatures. These training exercises are important for preparing soldiers for the rigors of combat, even though they may appear silly to outsiders. It's important to remember that the candidates who go through this training are heroes, not just warriors. To defend our liberties and keep us secure from attack, they risk their lives. We are grateful to them for their service and sacrifice. It's simple to take our protection and safety for granted, but it's important to remember the costs that have been paid in order to safeguard our freedom. Our military is built on brave candidates who go through rigorous training, and we should be proud of their devotion and dedication. That's it for today's video on the 10 craziest military training exercises. We truly hope that you liked reading about these demanding and hard exercises. For more interesting material like this, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. You're welcome, and we'll see you in the next video.